The Ring, a renowned boxing magazine, has just released its rankings of the top 10 exceptional heavyweights following the sizzling year-end event, Day of Reckoning. Notably, despite not facing Tyson Fury in this event, Alexander Usyk maintains his stronghold at the number one spot. The 36-year-old Ukrainian boxer had only one fight this year, knocking out Daniel Dubois in August. This victory allowed Usyk to retain the WBO WBA IBO IBF belts and the ring's prestigious title. Originally set for a year-end clash, the Fury Usyk title unification bout has been rescheduled to mid-February 2024. In 2023, Tyson Fury, with just one bout against Ngannou, secured a controversial decision win. The undefeated 2.06 meters monster maintains his position at number two on the ring's rankings, setting the stage for a potentially epic clash with Usyk, the WBC title holder in what promises to be a once-in-a-quarter-century bout to determine the undisputed champion. Following Usyk and Fury is the familiar face of former world champion Anthony Joshua, who recently impressed with a technical knockout victory over Otto Wallen at the Day of Reckoning event. After this win, Joshua declared his intention to face Tyson Fury, setting the stage for the most enticing domestic British boxing match in history. However, a more probable scenario for Joshua might be a promising matchup with Filip Hergovic, the fighter currently ranked fifth by the ring. The 31-year-old Croatian boxer extended his undefeated record to an impressive 17 fights, 14 co-wins, knocking out Demori in just over a minute at the star-studded, Day of Reckoning, event. If Hergovic and Joshua step into the ring in the coming year, it could likely be a battle for the prestigious IBF title. Alongside deserving contenders, the shocking inclusion of Deontay Wilder in the ring's top 10 has raised eyebrows. The 38-year-old American seems to have lost everything, from the reputation of the knockout machine, to the former WBC champion, following a comprehensive defeat to Joseph Parker at the Day of Reckoning event. With lopsided scorecards favoring Parker, 118 to 111, 120 to 108, 120 to 108, Wilder himself admitted, there are no words to defend this defeat. My time has passed a certain phase. Wilder's ninth place out of ten accurately reflects the current status of the once feared heavyweight boxer. To add to his woes, some readers even call for him to be removed from the ring's top ten. No wonder the long negotiated showdown between Wilder and Joshua, spanning almost seven years, finally crumbled after the recent Day of Reckoning event. Clearly, Joshua has reasons to ignore and refuse to face Wilder in the ring.